In Gizmo Creator, you can create gizmos in the 3D view. And on gizmos, you can add whatever you want. Operators, properties, menu, from Blender or add-ons. Okay? I have two gizmos here. One to call the add menu from Blender. And another one to call a simple menu and a pop-up menu. For the simple menu and the pop-up menu, I created them directly in the add-on. Okay? So if I check, if I click, I will have the simple menu. I'm in object mode, as you can see. I will have the uh, primitives and the shading part. I can, as you can see, activate uh, the settings I want, like that. Okay, so this is nice. And if, let's see, I go in sculpt mode, you will see that I will have some options for the topo to activate it, like that. And I will have the type fruit fill. I can disable the topo. And for the pop-up menu, this is the same. You can create a pop-up, add whatever you want in it. And if, let's see, I activate once again the topo, I can add the uh, settings I want to use with the topo. So like that, I can enter 10. I can choose if I use a collapse, etc. And I can detail fruit fill. If I disable the topo, I will have that. Okay, so if let's see I go in edit mode, you will see that for the simple menu and for the pop-up menu, I will have only what I want in this mode. Okay, so uh, to create this, this is simple. You add a gizmo. In the click action, for example, you choose menu, you enter this, and as you can see, you will have all the information to know how to do this. And you just have to add rules like that in add mode. If I check, I have the cube, the code for the cube. I want to see the cube in object mode only. So I add a condition for the object mode. I add a name and an icon here. Okay. And same for the topo, for example, I activate the topo. I choose to make it visible only in script mode. I add the name and uh, I add an icon. So this is as simple as that for the pop-up like that. You add the pop-up, you can add the name, you can add an icon and also the size of the pop-up, the width to be exact. Same, you add uh, the buttons you want and you add the condition you want to see the button with the name and the uh, icon. And just like that, you can create your own menus and pop-up menus because that will give you different results. On the pop-up, you can, let's see, in script mode, add up this kind of properties and on the uh, simple menu you just uh, be able to add operators and properties uh, toggles like that.